say you are the tax accountant or the lady that does my books? What do you do as a virtual CFO? Hi, this is Carol and welcome to my channel, Crunch Times Virtual CFO Services. The place to be to make a tangible connection between your business operation and its financial performance. Today I'm here to talk to you about who a virtual CFO is, what are the differences between a tax accountant an accountant and a CFO, and how having a CFO on board can help your business grow and make more money. So let's go. There is something I hear often while I'm working with my one-on-one -on -one clients. They say they have an accountant, but they are not giving them the help they need to see what's going on in their business, how their business is performing and how they can improve their business performance and make their business more successful. And what I tell them is they're thinking about their tax accountant. Tax accountants are very different than controllers and CFOs. CFOs and controllers manage the operations of the business to ensure that the business stays profitable. For sure, your business needs all these accounting lenses, but not all accountants do the same tasks and responsibilities. So let's take a look at all these roles and definitions and see how each of these can help your business grow and become more successful. Tax accountants use reports that your bookkeeper or yourself have put together on a typically annual basis to file your taxes to comply with government rules. Bookkeepers and accountants use software and spreadsheets to track your transaction and record them accordingly. However, a CFO does more than filing your taxes and doing your bookkeeping and data entry. A CFO role transitions from being a number cruncher to your strategic advisor. They take their financial expertise and channel it in a strategic leadership role to create success for your business. A CFO is a highly skilled professional. They are your networking resource and your strategic partner, as well as your trusted confidant. Because accountants work on historical transactions and data to report on financial numbers and past business performance, they have a backward looking approach. However, chief financial officers are forward thinkers who build business strategies, forecast business performance and make decisions based on future market and economic trends. Now you might ask, when does my business need a CFO? Regardless of your business size, when you require financial intelligence to guide you through your business decisions is when you need a CFO on board. And that's basically always. Having a CFO can do wonders for your business. You will get your very own number guru a strategic financial management expert, experienced decision maker, a budgeting professional, and a risk reviewer that can add so much value to your business. Now you might ask, why do you call it virtual? We call it virtual because we can offer our services to you from anywhere and everywhere. If you are on a road trip or working in your office and you are in your creative zone, if you are getting a coffee or catching up with your friends. That's our way of saying we are at your service, whenever or wherever. A virtual CFO is an experienced CFO who works across a diverse group of smaller businesses that haven't yet reached the scale to justify having a full-time CFO. Now let's look at some of the benefits and results that you should expect from your virtual CFO. The list of benefits and values are really long, but I'm going to give you some of them. Your virtual CFO can implement crucial financial reporting systems, establish your financial forecasting and planning, and provide regular cost analysis and advise on your business performance. They can also discover your key growth opportunities and preemptively identify risks before they happen. They can also resolve your cash flow challenges and optimize your systems for your scalable growth. If we want to summarize all that in only one sentence is to make you more money. Besides the size of your business, 
It doesn't also matter in which stage of your business life cycle you are at. If you are in the ideation, planning, a strategy or growth cycle, having a virtual CFO, as I said before, can add tremendous value to your business. So let me ask you this. Are you ready to walk the extra mile? So let's work together.